Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here bringing some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we are taking a look at my vertical ship register design. Um, the simplest version is here, it's quite an elegant thing. Uh, the red is the, or the orange is the actual memory cell. It's one of these uh, fl weird flop things, I don't remember what they're called. Uh, and uh, use pistons to break it up, so it, and when the pistons are in, it manages the power goes up and out there, or in through the block and into here bringing it up or down depending on which side is pushed in. It's very simple. It's actually only it's uh, one wide, one gap stack, stackable. But for the piston, the pistons are in a bit of an annoying spot because you can't just put them up and down and fit them all in without making this a lot larger. So what I I decided to do was just uh, do, group them into four byte nibbles using uh, piston gl uh, wool glass, wool glass, and double pistons like this to push it through. Uh, they can be in up to six bit groups just because of the length of pistons. Hey, not, hey Jeb, if you're listening, can you give us pistons that can push 16 blocks? It'd be so much nicer. Uh, but So I just grouped into two nibbles. So it's a reasonable size and there's a, there's a reasonable and the gap's not too bad. There's four block gap between them, so it's not too bad to pull them together again. And yeah, this is a four byte register here made out of these latches. So here I'll set it. So we're going to go back into here and set this lock. We're just going to, we're not going to bother shifting it in. We're just going to manually set that latch. And we're going to, uh, we want to go upright. So yes, this one. And you can see it moved up to that register, up to that uh, latch there. And the same, vice versa, move it down. And we can even push or pop it even off the stack. You can see there. So now if we want to push this into the bottom uh, stack, it's being pushed in. Turn that off so it doesn't keep uh, pushing in when we press it again. And then we're going to pop it up to the top level and pop it off the stack. So when you're popping off, you can actually read the pulse here as it comes off. It'll be, oh, I think it only lasts for one tick, but it'll be here. And you can put pu push in with uh, this side. As evidence here, this is how I did it. So as you can see, there's already some values on, so let's just pop the stack, pop the stack to clear it. Reasonably fast, the slowest thing here is actually the button. So, we got a clear stack, so we're going to pop in uh, uh, this value here. 1001, 1001, onto the stack. We're going to push that on. And there's it on the top level. I just have lights here for demonstration. If you want to actually pull out individual registers without being popped off, if you want direct access, you can put a block here and a repeater to pull them out for through there because. Uh, and I'll pull the register directly behind it because these go down. Uh, the very last one, the fourth register in this case, is a bit more of a pain. You can you can pull it out there, and you have to bring it underneath this line, or you build another one of these uh, little sections and bring it down the same as any other. So it's very modular. Uh, that you can stack this as high as you want to. The only limitation is getting power to the pistons. I used a glowstone tower here just for uh, compactness, but you can easily use anything else though it has to all fire at once so there probably is a limit closer to somewhere around eight but you can uh, if you if you want to make multiple towers and stuff you can uh, do you could power as tall as you can make this so let's see what what's a unit height so a unit height is one two three four so each uh, one is four high this block doesn't count because it sticks into this if it's into this gap right there so each one's four units high and wide it's three six seven seven wide four high and one deep so I say it's fairly compact sorry about the frame lag here uh, hopefully it doesn't cut into the video too much and sorry for the jump cut uh, I'm getting a bit too much lag so I just restarted the recording so as you can see one zero zero one one zero zero one and now we're going to do one zero one zero one zero one zero can I get that, count that right whatever whenever I say it out loud it's never the right number so one zero one zero one zero one zero and we're going to push that also onto the stack. And for why not, we're going to push another onto the stack. So we push it twice onto the stack. And then the final one is going to be on on this side, 1111 and 0000, zero, zero, zero on this side. And then we'll pop that on, and then we'll have a full stack. Push that on, and we'll have a full stack. As you can see, 1001, 1001, 1010, 1010, 1010, 1010, 1010, and 
one 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 zero 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 zero. So now we can uh, push this off the push that off the stack, shift them, aka shifting them back up, and shift again. So this is the best use I can think of them, is what I'm going to be using this design for. But uh, luckily, he here said he could do something else, something about like a scoring system or something using these. I can imagine these are great use, especially in a register configuration like this. Having a nice shift register is quite, not shift, but having a uh, sh uh, stack register is quite useful. And especially when you can expand this, I pro for my computer I'm tempted to make it 8 just so it's easier to do some calculations without having to write off to um, external memory. But it's fairly fa fairly fast. Uh, let's see, each one it, uh, a set is. I was having trouble, so I had to extend them. But uh, it's one, one and f three on this to reset. So four, so four ticks and about four ticks to write, with a probably two tick gap gap between each write. So it's fairly, it's fairly fast. It can be read instantly. You don't have to set anything. Writing is as quick as it shifts downward. So. It's a fairly decent speed. It should be good enough for a computer, considering I don't think you can make a computer running on a four o'clock four o'clock that can do too much. But we'll see how fast I can get the stack register going. So for normal pe for uh, people who are not making computers, you can, I'm sure you can find a use for this design. It's it's elegant. It looks nice. Um, for doing sticky pistons like this, you want a three tick pulse. So that's why I have here three tick. This is a three tick model stable. Powering both of them because you have to power all these at the same time if you want to shift properly. Otherwise, it will just uh, delete the value essentially. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's been Chartreuse K, and this has been my vertical uh, shift register, bidirectional shift register design.